Okay. This is the new plasma cutting table. I made a nice big plasma cutting table. And see, I just made a uh, wheel to ride the end so it can ride back and forth. And it does. Everything works butter smooth and, and there's absolutely zero wiggle to it. So it should be super precise. And you can see that bubble. I just made the table. I had to make all these all these little squares and, and then uh, started welding them in and then the last ones I made though I, I don't even have them welded in because they're so tight it, it's not going to go anywhere anyway so I, and then if I need to change them out I can just pull them change them out you know flip them over to the other side use the other side first and then change them out so I thought that was kind of smart but I think I will probably have my son tack a couple of those in using the welder here's the welder and the plasma cutter there so yeah, my bike's all kind of whittled into the corner now right and he just got one over here so we got to finally go on a ride together on on harleys instead i was letting him borrow this one back here which i'd like to sell i don't know if anybody's interested in uh the grandfather of uh of rice rockets right the Yamaha FJ600. They were selling those for about nine grand and uh, shipping them to China or to uh, Japan. Sorry. And I guess there was somebody buying them up over there. I need to get that out this year. I haven't even had it out once. Got it started, but <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show that to everybody. That's what I've been working on. It's taken me a couple of months. It's a uh, scratch build, so everything had to be designed from scratch. Everything had to be fabricated. This is uh, a lot of, if you look close, you can see a lot of 3D printed parts. And, uh, and they don't get close to the heat. They ride, this will ride really nice, man. Back and forth on there. And that rides real nice. The motors are hooked up, so it's kind of hard to pull. But otherwise, there's no, no uh, give. And it really goes like butter if you unhook the motor, right? All right. It's uh, just now up to, to Andrew to do a little bit of programming and, and get it to uh, do the correct speeds for cutting and uh, for the correct, you know, thickness of metal. But all right. Thanks, guys. I'll let you know uh, when, it, when we get cutting things and let you see a video cutting. All right. Thanks for watching.